Hey guys, this is Hound Hogs Barbecue, and today we're gonna to show you how we just made the juiciest turkey we've ever eaten in our lives. Hot. 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 <laughs> oh God, that was hot. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do today is we've had our turkey brining for about 24 hours. And what we use for the brine is this all queued up rock and rooster brine. Uh, really good stuff. I love the herbiness of it. Um, and so this briner bucket comes in super handy right now because it's perfect for this size turkey. Uh, we actually have the junior and the small one as well. Uh, there'll be links to these from Amazon in the description below where you guys can help support the channel by going through those links. But this, it felt so good to just close the lid on it and put it in the refrigerator and not have to worry about raw meat getting all over the refrigerator. Um, it's not sitting in some kind of bowl or anything like that. And it was able to just be in the fridge. So uh, that's really nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing out, get it cleaned off and get this thing seasoned up. Your turn. Okay. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Man, Peter's gonna be so mad at us. I'm having too much fun playing with a dead animal. Just dunk it down in there a few times and get it rinsed off. Tell me where your friends are. <laughs> Dude, right. look at that. Let's dry that thing off. What is that thing? Here, lay it down. Pat it dry. Okay. Well, I'm out of breath right now. Let me get this thing going. So pretty much anything that looks gross or looks like it's gonna burn, you're gonna wanna go ahead and trim off. That's nasty. So we're gonna go ahead and get this spit from Hasty Bake and this turbo trusser on this turkey. Um, we'll start with the turbo trusser. It makes the turkey go fast. That's why it says turbo. But you just clip these legs into the back of it and then use these little hooks right here to secure the wings. All right, once you get that installed, you can go ahead and run the rod of the spit through. And then you just want to run these hooks through either side to just secure the turkey onto the spit. Hmm. Once you got the hook set, it's ready to go. You don't have a healthy enough fear of salmonella. All right, so let's go ahead and get this grill started. Now today I'm gonna to be using Royal Oak All Natural Briquettes. Uh, the reason I'm using briquettes is because I'm gonna get a little bit longer burn out of briquettes than I will lump just because they're more dense, a little bit more even cooking that way as well. We're gonna to try to run it around between 300 and 350 degrees. Um, and we're gonna to try to get that skin nice and crispy, get a little char on the outside, but keep that inside nice and juicy. Um, I love this rotisserie attachment. It goes great on this grill with the raising and lowering of the firebox. You really have a lot of control um, so let's get this thing lit and let's get it going you look good yeah but not like you All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this bird seasoned up. The first thing we're gonna be using today is 38 Special. It's got some salt, sugar, some black pepper, a lot of different ingredients, but the main thing that we want from it today is just that salt content. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put a good layer on here. It's a big bird, so make sure you put enough, but not too much. And you can kind of just use this spit to kind of help you move the turkey around, obviously. This actually makes it really easy. With all of these rubs that you'll be putting on a turkey, you want to make sure you get a good, good even coat. Not just for flavor, but it just makes the whole presentation look really good. The next thing we're going to go on with is this Fergalicious Smoke Show Love. It's kind of a pecan-ish rub. Um, it's got some sweet notes in there. I really think this is going to be a good flavor for this turkey. And once you got this thing seasoned up, it's ready for the smoker. All right, so let's get this thing on here. Smoker's running about 300 degrees. Thank you, sir. Turn it through that side. Get it locked in on this side. You're touching charcoal. Nobody saw that. And now's the perfect time to do a little touch up here. 
Don't look at that. All right, so real quick, we noticed that the legs started falling out of this turbo trusser, and um, that's because we're stupid. We installed it wrong. Whenever you're doing the rotisserie, you want to take this turbo trusser and turn it kind of upside down, facing down if you're looking at the turkey's boobies. What that's going to do is that's going to press the legs up against the back of the turkey and hold them in there so that they're not constantly falling out every time it spins over. That's on us. All right, so we went ahead and probed the turkey with our uh, thermopin, and it's right where we want it to be. I um, want it to be around the 165 mark, 170-ish. Um, Today we're going to be using Cosmos Q Raspberry Chipotle, and we're just going to go ahead and dump this stuff on there while it's spinning. Ooh. It's like, is there something crawling up my foot? Is your foot sitting there going... Uh, man, that looks good. It really does. That glaze right there at the end really caramelized over it. Uh, we're going to get this thing pulled out. We still need to let it rest a few minutes. But what I want to point out is like all these dark spots. That's the benefit of doing something like a rotisserie chicken is you get kind of that charry charcoalness to it. On the, you know, when you smoke a turkey, it's not really going to get that charred flavor yeah. unless you just smoke it too hot. This is since it's moving so much, you can get that char without overdoing it. So we're going to get this thing taken apart and rested and we'll dive in. And this thing turned out, well, it looks like it's super good. We're about to find out. Yep. But I want to make a note here. You can tell how moist this turkey stayed from that brine and from the way we cooked it just by all the juices that are just all over the board. And we actually have already wiped some of it up. So you're the one that's all dirty. Give me some dark meat. You I mean, want get... the whole leg? No. Oh, I'm about to get whacked in the face with a turkey leg. Since I don't know how to use a knife, tuck you back in. Wrap it in a little skin. Mm-hmm. You better hurry up. My mouth's watering. Cheers. That is like the juiciest turkey I think I've ever eaten. <laughs> yeah. It's like gushing in my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just squirting all in my mouth. Like, I know this is, you would never do this. I'm drowning. Um, let's see. Like How are we supposed to put that back in to eat it? <laughs> We're not. That was just to make a point. Man, let me get some more of this. That glaze, we almost didn't do that. I think that glaze added just a little bit of that sweetness back to it. Yeah, I got I got it good in that bite right there. Hmm. Seriously, that's the most juicy turkey I've ever eaten. Yeah. Even, even compared to the ones we've done. Mm. That's so good. Are we, we just... going to finish the video? Uh-uh. I'm so glad we put that glaze on there at the end. Yeah, that was a last minute decision. Yeah, let's finish the video. Okay. Is there stuff all over my face? Yes. All right, guys. Well, um, we just spent about five minutes just sitting. <laughs> all right, guys. So we just spent about five minutes just sitting here eating this turkey, and we, we decided we should probably finish the video. This is the juiciest turkey I've ever eaten. Mm -hmm. So make sure you do that brine and cook it nice and slow. We held it right between 325 and 350 the whole time on that rotisserie. And, man, it just turned out so good. So as always, guys, we want to thank you for watching. Uh, check out the links below for any gear or rubs and sauces that we use. You can find those at our website, houndhogsbbqsupply.com. And as always, we want to encourage you to turn those ideas into realities. Get out there and cook something new. We'll catch you next time.